What is up guys, welcome back to another video. So if you remember my last video about Fable 2, the character fix, we had to turn on uh, DX12 Resolve or Read Back Resolve and it caused major performance drops. Not to the point where the game is unplayable, just to the point where you don't get all that high pretty 60 FPS, but the game is fully dynamic so it's not really an issue and you don't really notice a problem. Well, as of today, as you can see above me, someone released a patch which fixes the morphing problem without needing readback resolve. So we can disable that essentially and get the best amount of performance possible. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go in here, as you can see, it's right here. And uh, that needs to be set back to false, this one right here. And once we do that, we hit save, we exit out. Then we have to go into patches. We're gonna go down and we're gonna find Fable 2, I probably just passed it, knowing me. Let's do date modify. We're going to open up Fable 2. And the patch is going to go in here like this, and it needs to be set to true. Now, this was made by just some guy, or he, he likes to be known, guy. How original. What this does is it disables texture morphing, the thing that's currently broken inside of the emulator. Well, I wouldn't really call it broken, it's just broken on a lower accuracy level. And... There are some issues. We're going to talk about them right now because that's very important. First off, um, makeup causes your character to have a bugged head, but things like hair seem fine. It also disables the dog's texture morph, but still allows you to change it to a different breed, such as a husky or whatever. The evil morph looks a little weird, as I believe it makes your horns look flesh-colored. That's messed up. He hasn't done much testing. I have. I've done a lot of testing, and so far I can tell you this thing is very legit, and it does work very well. Um, it doesn't fix the exploding dog completely, but the dog looks so much better, and this just adds so much more to this game. It, uh, it, it uh, like a load of performance, which is always important. So once you add the patch, you're going to hit save. We're going to exit out of all this. So we're back in game. And as you can see, the character is still fixed, but we have pretty darn good FPS. Let me just disable that preview there to get me the max FPS possible, and I have a crazy money drop. It's always good to be rich in this game. As you can see, the game is smooth and fluid and looks awesome now. The dog is not bugged. He has all of his fur, but that might change. I do see some issues when he moves, uh, but other than that, he looks awesome. So we need to truly test this out. So we're gonna go to a transition point, which means we need to go from here to Rook Ridge. And that just takes a second to load. And we're here. There should be some people to fight. You, they look fine. Okay, I'm not gonna do one of my crazy accents, don't worry. Oh, good, look at that. Is there treasure? Treasure's back here, is it? How did I not see this one before? We're at around 200 FPS, give or take. It drops every now and again. We are building shaders still. 200 gold, and you can see the dog's glitching out right now. Well, something's glitching out. I can't tell if it's the dog or is it me. No, it's the dog. So the dog still does bug out, but that's to be expected. But the FPS is so much better than it was before. And it makes this game so much more playable to have the character kind of fixed and working. Hopefully he'll revise the patch later on in the... Hello, Pyramid Head. You're in the wrong game. Hopefully he'll revise the patch uh, in the future, of course. Because that would be great if he could fix all these remaining bugs with just a patch. I would love if the boy 1A1 took a crack at this because if anyone can do it, it's him. He seems to have a knack and, like, extreme focus on fixing things like this. Anyway, with that, it's just a short, quick video to show you the transition. Uh, it technically did do what I thought it would do. It break the dog, but is going back to Oakfield. I hate it. It wasn't Oakvale that we went to first. It was Oakfield, like, welfare Oakvale. I hate that you know, it's just so lame. Oakfield? Come on now. Oh, yeah, the dog's still busted. Oh, 
four poppers. Oh well. I'll be playing like this for now on because honestly it's way better having this performance. It makes videos look so much better. And honestly with this we could probably upscale now a little bit and still have 60 FPS maybe in uh, 2K, 4K, something like that. Because it would be really good to have a nice crisp clear game. So you know what we're going to do? We're going to go try to upscale and see what happens. Yeah. Okay, so we are scaled times two. As you can see, the game looks great. Dog is floating, which is fine and normal. And I wanted to capture this in the sun. Because honestly, this game when it's scaled looks amazing. Look at that. She's drunk and hideous, but, you know, textures look good. The performance isn't as good as normal scaling, but there's not much that we can do. Let's disable FSR and see what happens. So, alright, we're getting F80 FPS, never mind. Unless it's broken. It's not. Alright, so we are getting 55 FPS. It was broken, it just took a while to kick back in. Yeah, I think I prefer, I prefer it in native resolution compared to this. Still kind of cool. Uh, I want to look you in your face. Oh yeah, you could tell it's scaled. Aren't you a good dog? Oh, he knows he's a good dog. Yeah. Hey, puppy. Yeah. Sun's going down. Moon's going up. I want to go check that out. Can we get past this hedge? Excuse me. Let's go up to this oak tree. Oh, yeah. There's minor bloom issues. I don't really notice any flickering going on. As another user said, there was flickering, but that's just me. Anyway, with that, there you go. You know how the performance is scales. You know how the performance is without scaling. Uh, you've seen that it does indeed fix the character's morphing problems. And it semi-fixes the dog. What else more do we need? You'll find the patch in the link in the description below. Uh, it'll be a Discord link, so I'll have it up on my server if you want to grab it there as well. It'll be pinned in the Xbox channel. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video. And I'll see you guys next time.